News 5 at 5 continues now. Now at 530, school districts across Northeast Ohio are trying to deal with a troubling reality. The increasing number of students struggling with mental health. Yeah, hundreds of educators became the students to look for answers today. News 5's Amanda Van Allen was there and tells us about some solutions. They piled into Beachwood High School on a mission. You never feel like you're prepared enough. To tackle the touchy subject of student suicide and the Chagrin Valley Conference where multiple students have taken their own lives. We wanted to be able to do more um, and we wanted to make sure that after that happened that we were better prepared. Ryan Patty is the assistant principal at Beachwood High where just last year one of their scholars ended their life. He teamed up with other educators to bring in more than 200 folks from across the conference and 20 different districts to talk mental health. Each attending district to be able to then go back into their own district and run this within their own student body and their own staff. You're teaching them how to learn and how to manage their emotions and feelings. For the entire day, educators spoke to experts in relationship building, identifying stressors, modern day education, and much more. I would say at least 75 to 80 percent of behavior issues are social emotional issues. Markel Perkins is one of the attendees, also the principal at Cardinal High School. Students at his school were traumatized last year when one of their own committed suicide. So he took action. We have hired a full-time therapeutic uh, behavior specialist. And he's not done yet. We are dealing with this on an unprecedented level. It's not just the behavior, it's the underlying things that are going on in our scholars' lives that we don't always necessarily know about. Perkins and many of the educators volunteered for the regional crisis team. So if something like this ever happens again, all of the districts in the conference will be ready to share resources. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.